Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Battle series, The School of Hard Knocks. So throughout this episode, like every other, we'll be jumping on to the Pokemon Global Link Battle Spot Ladder, playing in the Championship Battle Rules, which are the equivalent rule sets of the VGC 2019 season. We kicked off this week with this Lunala Kyogre team. It's got the Choice Scarf, Tapu Lele, the Amoongus that we haven't featured too much. Hopefully we can bring that some point this week the Incineroar and the Cortana so we've got that nice firewater grass core in there with the the Kyogre which is bulky berry which I really do like we saw in our last episode it take a full power thunder from an opposing Kyogre in electric terrain survive proc the berry get the water spout off and put us in a really nice position to um, to close the matchup if you haven't seen that even though I've just let some spoilers out go and check it out up here I'll link it in the description um, not in the description, on the screen right now, so you can click it and go across to it. Uh, the Lunala is Psychic Seed, um, obviously. Got a Salt Vest, Cortana, we got Magic Room, Scarf, Tapulele, which we haven't used the Magic Room yet, so hopefully we can get to a point where we can use that Magic Room and it'll be it'll be really good. Um, I'm assuming it will be very good. We've seen it a few times this season already, and I've played against it a few times, and it, I think it's personally got some usage in this format, especially this format where Z-moves and Mega Stones aren't allowed, so all items can be removed, um, as long as they're not seed and already used already. But without further ado, let's get into today's episode um, and as always if you enjoy the content guys do leave a like on the video it does really help out and make sure you do subscribe to the channel because you will be able to stay up to date with all of our lovely battle series the school of hard knocks that we have on a daily basis but we have other video content coming very soon which i'm super excited about and i keep saying this but i am really excited about but we've got kurt in the meantime, as our first opponent of today, um, playing a team of Kyogre, Venomoth, Raichu, Dustman Necrozma, Serena, and Tapu Lele. So, a really, really wacky kind of call. What's Venomoth doing here? I'm sure it does get Rage Powder, um, so we need to be a little bit careful for that. We're probably going to see a Trick Room mode to this team with the Dustman Necrozma. Um, Raichu is there to protect um, the, the Kyogre from electric type attacks, of course. Um, Scarfed Lele. Do we go Scarfed Lele? I mean, it's not a bad option. We could potentially go for Magic Room here, which might be quite nice. We can stop uh, the, the Raichu shenanigans going fake out and all that sort of stuff. And we can potentially lead Lunala as well and stop Trick Rooms with Roll. Um, I think I will go with this pairing. Um, I do want to bring Incineroar to this match, though. That's the big thing. And uh, we can't take... We can't go into a match with our Kyogre, so we'll lock him with that. But the Incineroar is quite important here to get the Intimidates on that Dustman the Crossman. I know we're bringing our Tapu Lele here, but because um, it doesn't have the best matchup against Dustman the Crossman in general at all, we're like boosting its attacks. But at the same time, it's got some utility where we can take care of the other Pokemon on the field, like Venomoth is poison. Um, we can chunk Kyogre before it can get a water spot off. So for the protection of the rest of our team, it's it's quite handy. I'm gonna see that Venomoth come out as a lead with the Raichu, which is super interesting. Uh, I have no idea what to expect here. I really don't. I really don't. But I know for a fact we could probably nuke the. Um... <coughs> which one do I want to get rid of? Which one? Hmm. Really don't know. I really don't know. I feel like I got Tailwind. Or do I got Tailwind? Uh, I kind of want to go Psychic into the Raichu. I'm just going to double here. It might put us in, I'm going to go Psyshock into the Venomoth and I'm going to go Psychic into the Raichu. I worry about Nuzzle here. But if we can get rid of the Raichu before it can do anything, it's not slashed. No! There's the nuzzle. It's not good. It's not good. It's really not good. Okay, so the side shock. Can't believe the Raichu took that. Bulky at the salt vest Raichu. And there's the sash and the venom off. What's this thing gonna do? Sleep powder us? Tailwind. Okay, I mean that's not bad. That's fine. Because we can tailwind now. We know the Raichu is gonna just go and nuzzle into our Lunala for sure. I don't think we've got anything we can really switch in though to take that. Um, I'm gonna psychic into the Raichu again. <sighs> okay, knock off. Knock off. Okay, gonna get rid of our choice scarf. Which is. And bug buzz, so we're doubling in. Oh no! 
Okay, he's breaking the shadow shield. So we'll get our tailwinder, which is good. Only Nala should outspeed as long as we yet yeah, we're not paralyzed. Excellent. We don't have a choice scarf anymore, which is not ideal when we are paralyzed. So it does make things a little bit more difficult. I wonder what we'll see. If it's gonna be the uh, the dust made in the Cosma coming in there. Uh, or if it's a Kyogre. I love Venomoth, like Koga was the, uh, from the original anime, Koga had a Venomoth, right? I'm pretty sure. Such a good Pokemon. Uh, this is tricky, this is tricky now, because um, the Kyogre, if it's Scarfed, we'll be able to get a Water Spark off. I mean, we've got the Special Defensive Boost with our Lunala, so it's it's not too bad. Um, I think I might have to just sack Lele. At this point, it's it's so redundant anyway, it's lost its Choice Scarf, it's, it's paralyzed, so... It's not going to be doing too much. But we do have to beat the Kyogre, which is huge, and get the Psy Shock off into it, which is going to be massively important for us not taking stupid, really powerful water spouts. Swapped abilities. I don't even know what um, ability the Venomoth has. It's like, okay, I do not know. Um, but we will. Bring in our Kyogre now. Um, or do we bring in? Yeah, there's no point in bringing in Cinnamon right now. We can't fake out anything. Like Venomoth's bug poison, so I, even though it looks like it's flying, I don't think it is. Um, and we can just go Psy Shock into the Kyogre um, and just go Water Spout. I don't think we outspeed the Venomoth with our Kyogre, but at the same time, we don't need to really do too much damage to it to remove it from the field. We should get the Kyogre now. Yeah, we're gonna get the Kyogre. There's no Rage Powder. Unless Venomoth doesn't learn Rage Powder. I don't know why I'm in the mind frame of it. I thought we did, but it probably doesn't. Sleep Powder, finally coming out. Okay. It's the Lunala, which is fine. <coughs> Let me get the Water Spout, and my opponent is left with the Warm Pokemon. So, Venomoth putting in some work here today. I like the Skill Swap as well. Tailwind, Sleep Powder. Um, I need to really double check what um, it, its abilities are. So I have no idea. And then the Serene. Alright, that's fine. That's not bad at all. We'll just switch out Kyogre now. Um, and I'm going to just shine a Shock again into the Serena. And I'll switch in Incineroar. So we can get that Intimidate onto the Serena. And then, I mean, we should be alright. Kind of closing this one up. We just need Lunala not to sleep forever, like it has been doing. Um, but we've got a guaranteed sleep turn this turn, so hopefully we can like, wake up the next turn. Obviously we can't um, fake out the Serena, you know, not because of the second turn, but because of the Queen Majesty. We've got to worry about the uh, high jump kick as well. But the weirdness does disappear, allowing us to get that fake out and get a, like, at least one more turn for us to wake up here. So we can, um, um, I'm just going to move guys beam this turn. and. We'll go for that fake out while well, we've got the opportunity to. Maybe the next turn if we don't wake up. But my opponent just forfeits, so that is fine. Um, but an interesting game there. I mean, if the if the Serena, um, if we didn't wake up there, I mean, the next turn what we could do potentially is um, switch back into Kyogre to take a high jump kick and then like Kyogre at that point, we're relying on Incineroar and Lunala to kind of close the game up there for us because um, Kyogre might, it probably does outspeed it, but we've not got Ice Beam so we're not going to be able to hit it for super effective damage so we're relying on the Lunala. The Lunala is going to be able to take at least one power whip, you've got to imagine after a minus one, but if we can just cycle those Intimidates a bit more onto it then we'll be able to lock it up. Um, an interesting game, especially with the Venomoth and the Raichu, the Nuzzle. I do feel like Nuzzle is a very good um, move in this format that's probably not utilized as much as it potentially could be, um, especially against Xerneas with the Raichu. So when they go for the Geomancy, you Nuzzle them, and then the next turn you're gonna be outspeeding them, so you can just on-call lock them into that. I know there's redirection and stuff in the format at the minute, but I mean, that's one of the beauties about it. And I got caught in that trap um, when I was at Lille. And the thing was, even though I got the, 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 the Xerneas boosted up and I got another 
Geomancy boosted up because of redirection and other things that I had to support the Xerneas. Um, fully paralyzed in the end kind of locked the game out for me. So that extra status condition can be what it takes sometimes to win. And it's, it's really easy to kind of just throw that out and then make use of. So very good. Maybe we feature that on the channel at some point. Let me know what your opinions are on it. But nice to see Venomoth. I am going to wrap things up there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And we'll be back very soon with another episode of School of Hard Knocks. Until then, take care of yourselves. Have a great day, morning, even night, whatever time of day it is. And I will see you all for the next episode. So until then, bye-bye.